Hi everyone, so just jumping right in, I am using concealer to prime my eyelids. I'm using a brush um, just to blend it out a little bit from my eyebrow bone right down to my lid. Then I'm using my finger to further blend it out. This is the concealer I'm using. And then I'm going to use a face powder from Sephora in 40 Tan. I'm going to just set the concealer in and then I'm also going to use it as a creased shade. Okay, and here we're going to take a fluffy brush with the same powder and just further blend out the crease just to make it a little bit more smoky and just really blend it out. Next, we're going to go in with the Tartlet palette and I'm going to show you the shade here. It is Natural Beauty we're using and we're just going to use that on a slightly smaller buffing brush and we're just going to put that right in the crease over the initial um, tan shade that we put in. And we're going to just blend. First I do like windshield wiper motions, then I'll do circular motions just to make sure it's really blended out. And then next, obviously, we're going to take a fluffier brush um, and then just blend everything out. Make sure everything is um, blended together and there are no harsh lines. There is no extra product on the brush. It's just whatever was left over from tan. We're just blending it out. And we're still blending. And then I'm just going back in with the same natural beauty shade and just adding more just because after all that blending it does get rid of most of the um, most of the colors. So we're just adding more in and we're gonna go back and blend again. Um, I would just keep adding and buffing and adding and buffing until you get to the color that you want. Here's me buffing out again. Um, and it does take quite a long time to kind of get to the color and the consistency that you want. Here I'm going to go in with the Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place and I'm going to be using um, the shade in Ada, A-D-A-A, -A 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 -A. and I'm going to use the same blending brush that we just used for Natural Beauty and we're just going to go um, right underneath Natural Beauty and kind of just blend it upwards but we're not laying the color right on top of it just because it will get rid of the color but we are putting that underneath and we're blending it. Um, and then we're taking the, the fluffy brush, like I said before, and blend it out again with no extra product on it just to make sure that there is no harsh lines. Then we're going to go in with the same uh, Masquerade palette, but this time we're going to go in with Sobo and a slightly smaller blending brush. And we're just going to go over the um, outer shade from the outer corner to the inner corner. Here I'm just using a blending brush, like I said, for the millionth time and just blending it out, making sure there are no harsh lines and making sure that it all kind of like blends together and melts together and it looks kind of gradient and not harsh. And now I'm going to go in with the, um, the two shades, Ada and Zobo, put together and then just kind of put that everywhere. Realistically, this step is not necessary because we're going to be covering it up anyways, but I just wanted to put it down initially because I wanted to do a matte look and not a shimmery look, but because it is Valentine's Day, trying to be a little bit more glam than normal. Um, so yeah, and then I just took a clean blending brush and then just blended everything that I just put down. Um, and here is me trying to figure out my lid shade, and I found it. I'm just going to take some concealer just to clean up the eyelid, um, like the inner part of the eyelid a little bit. Um, which you'll be seeing here. I am not a professional cut creaser, um, but I just wanted to clean it up. It wasn't, and it's not supposed to be a cut crease by any means. It's just to clean it up, just to make sure it looks a little bit more clean. Um, but that's what I am doing here. I'm using the same concealer that I use to prime my lids, and then I'm just using a um, a really small detailing brush. And all my brushes are either from Morphe or BH or from Walmart. They're nothing expensive. On this side, you can probably see a little bit better on this, um, with this view. And then, like I did before, I just use my finger to blend it out a little bit. Just the warmth of your finger melts it better. 
Then I'm going to go in with the Tartlet in Bloom palette and I'm using the color Firecracker for my lid. And I'm just using a, um, a flat shader brush and I'm just packing it on from inner corner to like three quarters of the way to the end of my eye. I'm not putting it to the outer corner. And then this side obviously. Then I'm going to be taking some Origins Refreshing Spray, um, or sorry, Energy Boosting Spray, and I'm just spraying the brush and um, applying some more. It brings the color out a little bit better, as you can see, it's a little bit more sparkly. Um, you don't have to do this. You can use like, um, you can use a um, another face spray. You can use water. You can use um, eye drops, um, and it all works the same. Then I'm going to go back into the Tarte palette and I'm just going to use that brown there. Um, any brown will work obviously. Um, and then just darken out the, um, the outer corner a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned but the outer corner shade that I'm using here is Dreamer. Like I said outer corner and a little bit into the crease we're doing. And I'm going to take the, um, the brush, the blending brush that we use with Natural Beauty. There's no extra product on it. We're just blending it out making sure it's a little bit more um, blended and smoky. Then I'm going to go in with Bombshell from the um, Tartlet palette and then um, just right at the lash line and I'm going to blend it out some more. Realistically that wasn't how I intended it, the look to end up with Bombshell but it is what it is. Um, and then I blend it out of course some more with that fluffy brush. And I'm taking an, another clean brush here, just blending it out a little bit more precisely because the other black brush that I was using is a little too wide and a little too fat to kind of get precisely in the crease and blend. So that's what I'm using here. This brush is from Walmart, by the way. Then I'm going in with another brush and blending some more. There is no product on these brushes. I'm just blending because I need to blend. Um, the most tedious part of this look is probably the blending and making sure everything is like nice and melts together um, and there I just added some more of the um, the firecracker shade now I'm going in with best friend and natural beauty and I'm just smoking that on the bottom the lower lash line sorry with a fluffy flat brush just as close to the um, bottom lash line as possible from the outer corner to midway midway through not right to the corner inner crease sorry or inner corner sorry I'm going to take a clean brush and just do the same thing. I'm not adding any extra color or anything. It's just a clean brush. Here I did add some uh, more best friend to the brush um, and just more towards the outer corner into the upper wing part of the, um, the eyelid. Then I'm going in with Bombshell um, with a really small detailing brush and I'm just putting that on the like the outer corner. It's barely even on the, the lash line. I'm pulling it from the outer corner of the lash line to the wing of the lash, um, the wing of the eye, sorry. And then just blending that out just so it makes it a little bit more um, smoky on that bottom lash line to match the top. Here I'm taking an Essence um, eyeliner and I did twist it up a little bit so when I close my eye, the top and bottom tight line will get colored that's it there then I just took the same brush again with no extra product and smoked it out I am using the um, the their real mascara and the telescopic the telescopic is for me up my upper lashes and the their real is for my bottom and here I'm just using highlight of course um, it is the Anastasia that glow kit and the wet n wild palette um, sorry, wet and wild powder, and I'm using golden bronze and dripping gold. I did spray my brush with the Origins spray, then I'm just applying it to everywhere that I normally would. So my inner corner, my brow bone, my nose, my cheeks, my chin, the norm. Um, yeah, like I said, I mix all of them together, and then I use that fluffy brush to just blend out the space between the crease and the um, brow bone, just to make sure it's not like a harsh line. And then some more blending and here I show you the precious petals that's the best highlighter I personally feel like it's better than the Anastasia glow kit 
After I apply my highlight, I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty lip gloss. Um, you can use a lipstick, I just chose a lip gloss. Um, but after I do apply that lip gloss, um, that would be completing this look. So I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. And if you haven't already, subscribe.